On this edition of EDR Tech, we're going to be going over the Bosch CDR Direct-to-Module Cables. Direct-to-Module Cables are used to connect directly to a supported ECU to download the available data. ECUs, airbag modules, powertrain control modules, and others all have a unique connection port that requires a matching Direct-to-Module Cable to facilitate communication with the CDR tool. So there's no one-size-fits-all cable. The Bosch CDR tool was made commercially available over 20 years ago, and there's been an evolution in the style, appearance, and part number sequence of the direct module cables. Add to that export market cables, discontinued cables, cross-branded cables, and you can see how it can be a little bit confusing. There are more than 100 direct module cables in the CDR product line, and more are added every year as the auto manufacturers develop new supported ECUs that are installed in their vehicles. So let's go over the evolution of the direct-to-module cables, and you should have a better understanding of the different cables from past to present. And we'll also go over how to find a particular cable on the Crash Data Group website. Okay, where to start? Well, first off, pretty much all the information related to the cables that we'll be discussing today are embossed on some portion of the cable, and we'll show some examples as we go. Now, the CDR tool was originally developed by the Vetronics Corporation and was first sold in the year 2000. Shortly after that, Bosch purchased Vetronics and rebranded it the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool. With that, early generation CDR cables were and continued to be marked as a Vetronics cable with a Vetronics part number that Bosch left in place. The part numbers, which are still contained in the Vehicle Cable Lookup section of the help file to this day, start with 0200, followed by four additional numbers unique to that cable. Here's an example of an early generation cable. The information related to this cable is embossed on the interface connector end of the cable. We see that it is embossed with Vetronics, the part number 0200-2828, and SDMCL2. Now the only thing here that is important to us is the part number. Remember with this generation of cables, the part numbers all start with 0200. So the unique portion of the part number is 2828, and simplified, this cable became known as the 2828 cable, which is still the easiest way to search for it on our website, and we'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. Future cables that carried on the same part number configuration dropped the Vetronics name on the cable, such as this 0200-3321 or 3321 cable. Just a little side note, one thing you'll notice about many early generation cables is that the ECU connector is the actual OEM connector head used on the vehicle's wiring harness to connect to an ECU. It didn't take long for Bosch to begin custom molding direct-to-module cables specifically for the CDR tool. The OEM connectors at times became difficult to source from the OEMs, and custom molding cables prevented cable production disruptions that could result in the cables being unavailable to CDR users. Now the custom molded cables were also designed with a color code to assist with identifying a cable by the auto manufacturer regardless of the part number. And we'll talk a little bit more about the color codes in just a bit. Starting around 2003, Bosch changed the cable part number to a configuration that was used for many years, the F00K series. These cables have a part number that starts with F00K108, followed by three additional numbers that are unique to a specific cable. Many in the industry started giving these cables a nickname of sorts as the FOOP cables, implying that the zeros in F00K were O's, calling them out as a FOOP 108783 cable, for example. Now, it's not really all that relevant unless you're trying to search for a particular cable on our website and enter O's instead of zeros. So just be aware of that when searching for a cable. In any case, the cables with the F00K part number configuration became easily identifiable by the unique last three numbers such as this F00K108783 cable, which became known as, and is easily searchable, as the 783 cable. In 2014, Bosch simplified identifying CDR cables by assigning new cables with a three-digit cable ID number that is independent from any other Bosch product part number and this cable ID number format is still in place today. Here's an example of each CDR direct module cable number format as listed in the Vehicle Cable Lookup section of the help file. There are three different interface connector ends on the various D2M cables. The original 15-pin connector, 
the round connector for cables exclusive to the CDR900 interface, and a smaller multi-pin connector for cables used exclusively with the CDR500 flex ray adapter. The identifying part number or cable ID number is embossed on the interface connector end of the 15-pin and flex ray style cables. The cable ID number is embossed on the ECU connector end of cables with the round style CDR900 interface connector. If a cable with an older style 15-pin connector is called for use with the CDR900 interface, you'll simply need to use the legacy cable adapter, which is a standard accessory that comes with the CDR900. Okay, let's talk more about the color codes. Color coding the cables was designed to help identify a cable by the auto manufacturer the cable is used for. In general, the color of the ECU connection head is associated with a particular auto manufacturer. Hondas are red, Fords are black, Mazdas are green, and so on. This has become a little difficult for Bosch to maintain as an absolute as more and more manufacturers are added to the CDR tool. Also, some auto manufacturers have merged or combined with other manufacturers under different corporate umbrellas. FCA, which is Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, recently merged with the parent company of the Peugeot brand and created a new company called Stellantis. So in these cases, maintaining a consistent color code presents some challenges. General Motors cables are blue in color, as are BMW cables. Now they're a slightly different shade of blue if you look real close but really pretty difficult to differentiate at a glance. Some cables are used with more than one manufacturer. The Chevrolet City Express van is actually manufactured by Nissan and requires a Nissan direct -to module cable for a D2M download. The 821 cable is blue in color, but is used for both GM and FCA vehicles. Also, you'll see a lot of Toyota cables are used for D2M downloads of Subaru vehicles. So the color coding of cables is not an absolute but it can help you organize your kit as long as you keep in mind that there's a lot of crossover amongst the different manufacturers. A few years ago, Bosch began discontinuing production of some early generation cables. For the most part, the discontinued cables are used for vehicles and related ECUs that have not been manufactured for many years, and the number of those vehicles still on the road has dropped off substantially. It just wasn't financially feasible to continue production runs of the early generation cables. That being said, there are still vehicles on the road that require the use of discontinued cables to perform a direct to module download. Crash Data Group maintains a limited quantity of the discontinued cables and offers them for rent if you have the need for one. You can find a list of the discontinued cables and adapters on our website. Just go to crashdatagroup.com. And once you're there, hover over the Products tab and click on Discontinued Cables and Adapters in the Bosch CDR Tool column. While we're here, let's go over the rental process. Crash Data Group only rents cables that are no longer available for purchase. So if you see a cable listed as a rental, that cable is no longer available for sale, and it clearly states Rental Only. The current rental price for discontinued cables is $750. Now hold on. 500 of that is a security deposit that will be returned to you as a refund when the cable is returned to Crash Data Group. When you click on a cable that is a rental, you can see that it clearly states rental only. All of the information related to the rental process is located on this page, however, you need to manually scroll down to see it. The rental price includes 21 days use of the cable, which should give you sufficient time to schedule your inspection and perform your download. It also includes a prepaid return shipping label to return the cable, and again, $500 will be refunded to the credit card used to make the purchase when the cable is returned. It does not include outbound shipping. You select the outbound shipping method that works best for you, overnight, two-day, or ground shipping, and you do that upon checkout just as you would with any other cable purchase. Okay, while we're here, why don't we go over how to search for a specific D2M cable on our website? There are several ways to search for a cable. Again, hover over the Products tab, then click on Cables in the Bosch CDR Tool column. You could scroll through all the different cables to find the one you're looking for, but there are a couple easier ways to find a particular cable. On the left-hand side of the page, you'll see a list of auto manufacturers. Click on the one you're interested in, and it will show you a list of cables that are generally specific to that manufacturer. Once you find the cable you're looking for, click on it, and then click on Add to Cart. If you need more than one cable, click Continue Shopping here, 
add your additional item to your cart, and when you're ready, check out and follow the instructions to complete your purchase. Another easy way to find a particular cable is to use the search function. Click on the search icon and simply enter the unique numbers of the cable or the cable ID number in the search field. Remember there are three different cable number formats as listed in the CDR help file. The last four numbers of the early generation cables that have a part number starting with 0200, the last three numbers of the F00K numbered cables, and the three digit cable ID number. So it's searching for a 0200-3321 cable, I can just enter 3321, that cable will be displayed, click on it, add to cart, and proceed with your purchase. An F00K108823 cable can be found by simply entering 823 in the search bar as shown here. And cable ID 821 can be found by entering 821 in the search bar. One thing to be aware of is that there are a couple cables that have some of the same numbers in their unique part number. The 0200-2829 cable and the ID829 cable both end with 829. So in some cases, you'll need to pay particular attention to the part number format of the cable you're searching for. A few things of note. Although we make every effort to keep all cables in stock, occasionally there are times when the item shows to be sold out. If that's the case, you can use the Notify When Available feature. Enter your email address and you'll be automatically notified when the cable is back in stock. There are some cables sold that are used only for vehicles configured for sale outside of the North American market, such as this 818 Toyota cable. We have customers that get contracted for work in regions outside of North America that may have a need for these cables, so they're available on our website. These cables are clearly listed for non-US and Canada vehicles, so be aware of that. And that's it for this edition of EDR Tech. I hope you have a better understanding of the Bosch CDR direct to module cables, past to present. Now if there's a topic you'd like to see covered on a future edition of EDR Tech, please let us know. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you'll be notified when next month's edition has been posted. And as always, if you have any questions at all about any of the EDR retrieval tools, Bosch, Hyundai, Kia, or Tesla, just give us a call or go to CrashDataGroup.com.